What's up, baby? It's Ronnie with RC Bass, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I got a question for you. Are you a tracker bass owner? Own tracker buff? <laughs> Let's try that again. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ronnie with RC Bassin, and I got a question for you. Are you a tracker boat owner? Do you happen to own a Bass Tracker Classic or a Tracker Classic XL? If you do, are you tired of your rails getting scratched and chipped up? I know I am. Stick around. You don't want to miss this one. All right, guys, it's Ronnie. I'm back out here underneath the boat shed again. And, man, it is freaking cold out here today. It's about 31 degrees, and there's a, a real crisp breeze blowing. It makes it feel like it's about 25 or 26 degrees outside. And um, I wanted to kind of show you a solution I came up here, uh, came up with here for a, a protector on my, my rub rail on my boat, right? So... I didn't like it getting chipped up and scratched and you know the first time I took it out I, I had it tied up to the dock while I was parking the courtesy dock came back down and you know a boat had went by and made some wake and it bumped my boat into the to the metal courtesy dock and um scratched my rail man you know and of course it's a boat if you fish in it you're going to get some scratches and um it's just part of it but you know I want to try to take care of it as, as best I can so I looked around, thought about some different solutions, saw some different guys using, you know, pool noodles that they split down the side and put over the rail and some other things. And I just kind of got on Amazon, man. I'm a prime shopper. So um, I just started looking for solutions. And uh, so this is what I came up with, right? Um, here's what the, the package looks like. And this is actually a cover, an edge cover made for furniture. Um, you can see here it's called um, Roving Cove is who is who makes it. Um, and I bought two bags of it. That's what it took to go down both sides of the boat. And then it even has some corner pieces. And this stuff is real pliable. Um, it's like uh, a foam with a some type of covering over it. Um, and it works really well. Now it's double-sided adhesive tape. Um, so I pull a piece out here so you can see what it looks like and you have to put the tape into it yourself that's the only thing I didn't like about it was the tape didn't come already you know on one side peeled and stuck inside the molding um, and it's pretty cold out right now so it's not it's not very pliable um, but that's what it looks like when you put your 3m tape in and then you just peel it off and you you know you put it down on the rail of your boat stick it on um, and you've got a rub rail protector Again, I think this stuff was like nine dollars a bag or something. I paid eighteen bucks to go all the way around the boat, um, and even it's even got some little corner pieces back there, which that one's kind of uh, my my cover has kind of rubbed it down a little bit. But you know, you can match them up pretty close uh, when you put them on. So if I've got a corner piece in here, you know, there's what your corner pieces look like. They're pretty sharp, ninety degrees, ninety degree edges. Um, but you can see the stuff is pretty, it's pretty pliable. You know, you can, it's like a foam, um, and it works really well. And again, you know, if it messes up or if I cut some big chunks out of it or something, I can just pull it off, take some glue gone, goo gone, and, uh, clean it up and, you know, buy some, some replacement for it and just stick it right back on there. But it works really well to protect your boat, protect your investment. Um, and you know, it's not going to break the bank. Um, you know, and like I said, I, it takes two bags if you order this, this, uh, brand and there's a bunch out there. So don't just take, you know, don't just buy this one. Um, look around and, and do some shopping and see if you find something that works a little better. I'd be interested in knowing, you know, how you protect your boat. What do you do to keep the rails from getting scratched up? Um, but again, just a, another simple modification to kind of help take care of your boat and keep it from getting dinged up too bad um and, and you know like i said very cheap so um let me know what you think uh let me know what kind of solutions you've used on your boat i'd be interested to know if there's some other uh, better idea out there that's the great thing about this platform is i can learn from you 
and hopefully provide you something uh, that might help you as well. All right, until we talk again, stay safe out on the water. Tight lines, baby, and hook them up. <laughs>